All right, people, so by now, most I want to hear the news that the government have forgot to pay for the legal fees in relation to Vibes Cartel UK Privy Council, right? So, you don't know a lot of persons that say 100 million they might go spend, some people say 60 million. Well, we we'll actually get some information as to up to how much money the government might actually have to spend. You see it, my people? So, you don't know a lot of persons that look on and say, yeah, man, Vibes Cartel finally get some form of justice and all of that, you see me? Even Vibes Cartel tell himself did actually react to the news well him never really react to it but it's like him lawyer isa buchanan i give some information as to how vibes cartel feel knowing say yeah man at least you know they are getting or they are starting to get some form of justice because obviously the government as me say i forgot pay for the legal fees in relation to the uk privy council which is a couple million dollars well my people so what about it you understand also i have an instagram live mega play with isa buchanan speaking on dpp paula Llewellyn. Of course, you know, so she recently stepped down, and of course, we have a temporary DPP. You understand, my people? So, we're going to talk about all of that. I'm going to play the video with Isat as speak and all of that. You see, my people? When you can't tell me anything about this, when you feel like the vibes can't tell like a boss of the case, or when you feel like they're going to give me a harder time, knowing that they're going to go, you know, pay some bills and all of that. Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, my people, before we go no further into the topics, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Zine. Also, make sure you head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4, but I definitely appreciate that. All right, people, so I could get into the article right now so I understand what's going on. And as I said, this just kind of give us a little bit of information as to up to how much money the government might have to pay Vibes Cartel in relation to the Privy Council. You see it, so... As I said, some rumors are spread say 100 million. Even me, they talk about it on my next page, I say over 100 million. But I not so much money, my people. Anyway, this is what the article I say. Government facing huge legal bill following Privy Council ruling in cartel appeal. Radio Jamaica News has been informed that the government is facing a multi-million dollar legal bill following last month's decision of the UK-based Privy Council to overturn the murder convictions of incarcerated entertainer Vibes Cartel and his three co-accused. In its final order submitted to the local authorities two weeks ago, the Privy Council awarded legal costs to the appellants and their attorneys. Radio Jamaica News understand that the legal bill could be as high as 20 million dollars nine attorneys most of them king's counsel were involved in the case on march 14th the privy council dismissed the murder conviction of cartel whose given name is adija palmer sean sean stam campbell kahira jones and andre matsu st john on the grounds of jury tampering the men were convicted on march 13 2014 for the taking out of clive lizard williams the case has been sent back to the court of appeal for a decision on whether they should face retrial for the 2011 murder. The hearing is now set for June the 10th and will last five days. Yes, my people, we even see Vibes Cartel um, business page, the one in name Vibes Cartel Music. They even repost the, um, like an article or a post, me should I say. They just make a post and show, say, yeah, the government ago. Sort them out in relation to the money where them spend and thing. So what the article says up to twenty million dollars. It never give like a direct amount. So we don't know if a fifteen million, we don't know if a sixteen, seventeen, nineteen point five, we don't know, but them never say it I go go over twenty million. It's a up to twenty mil. So yeah, people, it's not a hundred million like what we did initially think. You see me? Um, but I still a good change and at least they will be compensated for the money where them spend and all of that. The only thing is, will they get like a warmer time knowing say they did the government pay for it? I want to say a warmer time. You know, you know, some people feel like because the government have to spend back the money there, them definitely are gonna make it go to retrial. Because whether or not is a retrial, you know, that money must be sent back to cartel them. Or the government must cover the cost. You understand my people? So I don't know, Me could watch and see how oh, all of this play out, is it, as it relates to, you know, freedom. A lot of persons I wish cartel and the rest of my name get freedom because, of course, some people think the case wasn't handled properly. And obviously the case wasn't handled properly, which is the reason why the UK Privy Council even quashed it in the first place. You understand? So I could watch and see what's going to happen, my people. But I want to tell me anything about this in the comment section. 
Also, let me know anything about the government having to pay for the legal fees. If you don't feel like, say, yeah, man, it's a good look for the artists and they, they, they co accuse them and them thing, they see it. And remember, I'm telling you, I have a video with Isaac Buchanan. Basically, I speak on the DPP and all of them thing there. And as I said recently, the DPP, Paula Lowell, in a step down. But yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? I think I did it before, but anyway, one article come out with the DPP attorney and make people know that she don't resign. You understand? But she obviously stepped down because of the, the, the PNP them wanting her to leave because they must say she oversteer her time and all of that. You see me? And I guess um, Labour Right wanted to extend her time. Basically, yeah, that's how I go put it. So the PNP now feel that and all of them look thing there. Anyway, I could get to the video now with Isaac Buchanan speaking on this whole situation. And as usual, my people, only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Is it? Once again, the government has appealed the decision. And once again, they show complete contempt, complete disregard, complete lack of respect for the court. So it's one thing when Mr. Ratigan is told that he doesn't have um, standing and he's aggrieved and he, he appeals. That is the justice system. And I'm going to say this. It is the right of the government to make an appeal if they are aggrieved. So don't get me wrong. I am not saying that they should not appeal because they have that right. And if they have the right, they should exercise it because it's not over until you go to the Privy Council. So the same set of people says, why not go to the Privy Council when we can handle our own business? Is prepared to go to the Privy Council. But Marky G said, I will carry you to the Privy Council because when you're strong and wrong, me not put up with no slackness. Time come. It's a new dawn. So if anybody wondering why my um, Adidas gear is of a particular color, it's because I'm excited to know that competence exists in Jamaica outside of the judiciary. It's exciting times. Time actually come where you have to let the dawn step aside and allow competent people to marshal you, lead you to a better Jamaica. Through respect for the people, through respect for the constitution. Yeah, there's a stench of green, a foul odor. And if you want to know what it look like, it's filled with green, like when Jonjo, that kind, that kind of thing. And they selectively write letters and say, oh, he's a, we, we, we young, it's time for him to resign. Without knowing the facts, without knowing the context. Look what they did to young Vaz out of West Milan. They don't find the context and they're writing documents about resign. You have to think on these things. We are so quick to make people unemployed, to destroy people's lives. And then we are also, when it is for our friends, we are willing Willingly, remember that pastor that way he never do it willingly? Well, we are wingingly ready to breach the constitution to carry on that which is void. I don't say it. I don't say it. Because I can tell you this. Me know for myself, because I am blessed to be in the courts as well, that there are many competent people and let me just address it now for anybody who don't know Miss Claudette Thompson she is competent if one goes back to the Andre Stevenson show when this conversation came up last year I mentioned her name as one of the people who are also competent and capable so nobody don't worry whether or not they're going to just leave her as acting is another story because there is Jeremy Taylor, albeit he's there. You know, I'll be careful, I do have $500,000 song, I'm going to say nothing about a particular song that I'd mentioned his name as well. But anyway, um, nor, uh, and there is, I've said it, I'm, I may be a bit biased, but Miss Pike, Miss Kathy Pike, stranger danger, because if...
Yeah, my people, and the question more I ask, you know, when you feel like Sir Paula Lowellin are going to return as the DPP, being that the Labour right them appeal the whole situation, or when you feel like say, no, no matter what, she not can come back as DPP and thing and thing. You see me? I guess what for those watch and see. But it's obvious that the, the Labour right them want her to be DPP. Obviously, they wouldn't file an appeal for, for keep her at that position. You see it, my people. But I guess all the time we'll tell and we we'll for those watch and see what's going to happen. You see it? So when you can tell me anything about that whole situation here in the comment section and remember if you head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4. But I definitely appreciate that. I'm out.